In this video, we're going to be going over area and perimeter of rectangles, squares, and triangles. And you're going to need your formula sheet that is in your binder um, on the back side of your page with a co the cover page. So the first shape that we're going to go over is the rectangle. And if you look at your notes, the rectangle is actually in your notes. So I want you to circle the rectangle. So you can also uh, look at it on your formula sheet that you have out beside you. And the formula for area of a rectangle. Now the A is area. So anytime you see the A, it's referring to the area. So formula for area is A equals, and then we have this fancy L here, and I like to write it as a cursive L, or you can write it as a capital L. Either one is okay. Um, I just want you to make sure that you know that it's not a number one because a lot of people will think that that's a one and it's not. So you can use a little cursive L or you can use a capital L. Either one is fine. And then it has an L and a W. So let's talk about what do those L and W mean. L refers to the length and W refers to the width. So if we look at this rectangle that we have here, the length is going to be the longest side the width is typically the shortest side. Now it won't make a difference if you label them differently, um, but we always like to teach that the length is the longest and then the width is the smaller of the two. So we have area equals LW, and I'm gonna erase that. I'm gonna use mostly capital o, um, Ls, just so you can see what I'm looking for. But these are both meaning the same thing. And then we have the formula for perimeter. Perimeter is the P equals the two L plus the two W. And that means two times the length, because these are smushed and that means multiply, plus two times the width, because two times the width, whatever that is. So let's find, let's practice finding the area. So I'm gonna rewrite the formula. I always want you to do this. Just write it so that you can see what it is. Just copy it directly off your formula sheet. And then we're gonna put in blanks where the L, and I'm gonna put L real tiny above the parentheses, and I'm gonna put the W real tiny above that. And then we're gonna fill those in. So what is the length? Well, the length is nine, so I'm gonna come down here and plug that in. And then I have the width, the width is three. Well, I have to multiply those. Nine times three, because they're squished, and that means multiplication. Nine times three is 27. So I have A equals 27. And then we're gonna put the units, millimeters, and I have this little trick, area squarea, because what this means is I could put 27 little squares inside of here. So say I cut it like this, sorry, these aren't the best straight lines. So there's three by nine, and they would all be little one by one millimeter squares. Okay, so I would cut it this way, nine times. So they'd be little one by one squares. So A equals 27 millimeters squared, and this is area squarea. Now to find the perimeter, we're just going to write the formula the same, P equals 2L two equal, two plus 2W. Two I'm gonna rewrite it with the blanks. P equals 2L plus 2W. We go back to the length. The length is nine, and the width is three. Now we have to follow the order of operations, which says I'm gonna do the multiplication first. So two times nine is 18. And then if you wanna do this multiplication, that's fine too. Two times three is six. And then we'll add them. 18 plus six gives you a perimeter of 24 millimeters. So that means if I were to walk the whole way around the shape, because if this side is nine, so is this one. And if this side is three, so is this one. And if I do nine plus three plus nine plus three, that's the perimeter of the very outside of the shape. So the perimeter is always plane measurements. So plane perimeter is how you can remember it. All right, now let's scroll down. We are going to look at the square. So I want you to use your pencil you can circle on your notes packet, where is the square? Well, there's the square. Let's write the formula for area. A equals S squared. 
Now what does that S stand for? Well S stands for side and when you have S squared that means side times the side. Side times side. And then for perimeter we have P equals 4 S. So what that means is 4 times whatever the side is. So if we look at this picture here, the 4 is the side length. So we find the area. I'm going to write the original formula first to make sure I don't make a mistake. Then I'm going to write it with blanks. So that's S to the second power. S is 4. So now I have 4 to the second power. 4 to the second power is 16. So A is equal to 16. Now we put the units, centimeters, and it's area, so it's squared. Area, square area. Now to find the perimeter, we're going to write our formula. P equals 4S. Write it with blanks. 4 times whatever S is. If we look at the picture, the side is 4. And then we're just going to follow order of operations. Multiply this. 4 times 4 is 16. So P equals 16 centimeters. And remember, perimeter is plane. So in this case, they both came out to be exactly the same because there's four sides in a square and the measurement's four. And then we have four times four, which is the, um, the area of our square. So in this case, it just came out to be the same, and that's okay. It won't always do that, though. Okay, the last one we're going to look at is the triangle. And you can see the triangle is right here. So go ahead and circle that in your notes. And we have a formula for area of a triangle, and it looks kind of tricky. So we have A equals 1 half BH. Now what does B stand for? B stands for the base or the bottom of the triangle. So in this case, the base or the bottom of the triangle is the 6. So I'm going to put a B beside that. The H stands for the height or for how tall the triangle is, and that would be here. So this is the height. Now, if you look at your formula sheet, there isn't a formula for the perimeter of a triangle. And I'm going to have you write this measurement in real fast because we made a mistake. So, If you were solving this, and actually let me change this. I'm just going to change this to a um, to 7. Let's just round it. If we're solving this for the perimeter, think of how we found the perimeter of the rectangle. When we found the perimeter of the rectangle, I showed you that you could just walk around the outside of the shape and find the perimeter. Well, that's the same thing. Think back to elementary school when your teacher said, how do you find the perimeter of a shape? All you did was add up all the sides. All you're going to do is add up all the sides and you're going to find the perimeter. So we are going to write it as P equals side plus side plus side. So side one plus side two plus side three. And actually, let me, let me do, let me do, let me do. I'm going to put them on the bottom so they don't look like exponents. So we're going to add side one plus side two plus side three to get our perimeter. So let's find our area. I'm going to rewrite the formula, and this one gets a little bit tricky just because you have that fraction there, but we'll use our fraction rules to help us. So you have A equals 1 half times the base times the height. So the base is 6 according to our picture, the height is 12, or 2, I'm sorry. Now, remember we have to use our order of operations rules, so we're going to multiply here first. So 1 half times 6. So when we do this, lonely whole numbers go over 1. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. And then if you do 6 divided by 2, that equals 3 times 2. Because I have this times 2 that's coming down right here. And then 3 times 2 is 6. So I have an area equals 6 kilometers squared because area square area.
Now, let me let me go back. I'll show you. I'll rework this step again and walk you through how I did it. Lonely whole numbers have to go over 1 to multiply fractions. 1 times 6 is where I got the 6. 2 times 1 is 2, where is where I got the 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then I brought down this 2 I still needed to multiply by, and I got 3 times 2 is 6. So that's how you find the area. Now, the other thing you have to do is find the perimeter, and that's perimeter equals side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3. And so all we're going to do is just add them all together. So we have 2 plus 6 plus 7, and it doesn't matter in what order you do it. So if I add all of those together, you're going to get 13, 6 plus 7, 14, 15 kilometers, and perimeter is plane. So what I want for you to do now is I want you to solve the four problems that are at the bottom. If you need to rewind the video to look at the rectangle or to relook at the square um, or the triangles, go ahead and do that. Remember for number one and number two, you're finding both the area and the perimeter. So you need to have two answers for both the rectangle and the square. So pause now and then we'll unpause when we're ready to check. And here are your answers to those four problems at the bottom. Now for number two, when you found the perimeter here, it is a square, so you can use the formula for a perimeter of a square. But if you also use the length, the 2L plus 2W one, it would get you the same answer. So you would do 2 times 5 is 10 plus 2 times 5 is 10, which would still get you to 20. So if you use that formula, that's perfectly fine. Um, if you have any questions, make sure that you see your teacher. Um, or rewatch the video over again.